Today's emulation video, I will be making it on the Acorn Archimedes computer. So you could download the emulator here. It's called the Arc Arculator emulator. This is the official site for this emulator. I'll put that in the video descriptions below. And um, the computer that I have is Windows 11, so I'm going to select Arculator 2.1 for Windows. If you have Linux, you select the Linux version. You could find um, various types of software and other utility files here in this URL. I'll leave this in the video descriptions below. You want to find the games, uh, you can find them in myabandonware.com. Here it is, add corn 32 bits. Go here, select the one for the Acorn Archimedes. Select that one. There's many different versions, so make sure you select the right one when you're on a My Abandonware. A little bit of background on the Acorn Archimedes computer. This was a computer that used a RISC based processor. And today uh, we call it the ARM CPU. ARM means advanced risk machines, advanced risk machines. Risk means reduced instruction set computing. And the computer that I'm using right now it uses a x64, x86 CISC based architecture, which is complex instruction set computing so the computer that i'm using and the most of the computers around the world desktop computers and laptop computers are cisc based computers and it uses a lot more power it has more instruction sets than the arm cpu uh, arm is good for like uh, mobile devices like um, smartphones tablets it's good for single board computers stuff like microcontrollers and stuff like that and, uh, chips that are in your appliances like your television sets refrigerators toasters and whatever have arm arm based cpus in them because um, you don't have to have like very complex instruction sets to uh, use uh, microcontrollers and in machines that do repetitive tasks like industrial machines or some industrial computers use risk based processors as well uh, anyways um let's talk more about the egg corn archive this computer came out in first introduced in 1987 and uh, it was discontinued in the mid 1990s it says it uses a 32 bit risk based processor that's amazing 32 bit computer back in 1987 when we had mostly 16 bit computers well when 16 bit computers were being introduced into uh the computer computer industry back in 1987 like the commodore amiga series i think it was released in 1985 commodore amiga Commodore Amiga 1000. So, um, but the 16 bit computers were becoming, were hitting the market in mass in 1987. And this is a 32 bit, which is pretty amazing. So, the amount of RAM for these computers uh, was anywhere from 512k bytes or half a megabyte half a megabyte to 16 megabytes. You could put a hard drive in one of these. The A3000. As time went by, these computers did 
change in appearance. The first models was more like a, a classic uh, 1980s type of computer, which had a uh, keyboard embedded into the computer with maybe a floppy disk embedded into this keyboard computer as well. And then it kind of like evolved to a pizza box computer of the late 1980s like this and early 1990s. I haven't seen any Edcorn Archimedes that have towers. It's phased out in the mid 1990s. But you don't see towers. You see more like a, a night late 1980s, 19 early 1990s design like this, or a 1980s design like a keyboard keyboard. Like computer, kind of like the, I guess the Amiga 500, kind of like, looks similar to that. Atari ST. Atari 800. Uh, 1980s computers look like. So, anyways, uh, yes. Uh, Eggcorn did go out of. Well, they stopped making their Archimedes-based computers, but the company actually survived until 2015, which is a pretty long time, and. Um, some of the developers in Eggcorn went on to ARM, which you can see here. And they made the ARM company. And ARM CPUs are used in everything, just about almost every type of thing from appliance to uh, smartphones. And uh, people may think that um, the x86 or x64 computers Base computers sell the most uh, units. That's actually false. ARM based computers, more ARM based computers are sold than CISC based processors like Intel or AMD because uh, these things are used in everything. But uh, it's kind of amazing how uh, they had an ARM RISC based computer back in late 19. 80s in a desktop format like this that's pretty amazing if this would have succeeded and they would have been able to produce uh desktop based arm computers that would that would be great i mean they, these computers don't use a lot of power arm based cpus don't use a lot of power and that's why you're able to use it in your um smartphone and uh but they are used in uh single board computers like um the raspberry pi series um the orange pi series and others so many different um small form i mean uh single base computers these days Asus makes one. It's called the Tinker Box. Stuff like that. People use them for uh, various projects, like they use them in drones. Uh, main board for the drone. They use them for uh, retro uh, gaming and everything else. So, anyways, let's get started. So, download this. Download this. You could get the games from here, and that's basically it. You get started. Okay. 
download to the emulator, which is right there. I'm going to put it into a folder. Eckhorn Archimedes. Archimedes was a Greek um, mathematician, engineer, philosopher back in back in ancient times. So that's why I guess that's why they named it Eckhorn Archimedes. And he invented many interesting things like the Archimedes screw and stuff like that. It's rumored that he even had some kind of a he created some kind of weapon to resist Romans. It was kind of like a mirrors or something, concentrating a bunch of bronze mirrors onto a Roman ship to burn it, which was kind of like an, I guess, an early form of an energy weapon. So I got everything here. You don't need any BIOS files. Everything is included with the simulator. It should just work right out of the box. I want to get some files from here as well. Folder called games. Okay, that's enough. Read another folder called software. Hard disk for a matter of okay. We'll need that if uh, to um, use a hard drive. Demi later. later. Just in case, let's do a scan to see if there's anything malicious in here or not. Windows 11 comes with a antivirus program. You can just scan it like that. See. There isn't anything malicious in there. Besides the official site, they didn't put anything malicious in there. This looks very similar to the PCM's interface, and that's because uh, the same person who designed this also made the PCM emulator. And the person who made it was Sarah Walker. You could name this whatever you want. I will select that. So like that. You could just leave it on default if you want. I do want to use a hard drive in this. You do have to select a controller to do that. Select that. Edcorn AKD520 hard disk podule. Podule is kind of like a, if you uh, compare it to a uh, PC format, it would be something like a ISA slot or something. You'd have to have a controller for it and then put it into the podule slot and then connect that to your hard drive or something. I think that's how it works. Let's configure a hard drive. I want a new hard drive. Let's see what this thing goes out to. Maximum is 64 megabytes. So what I want to do is I want to write this information down. Okay, just make sure you write that down because you're going to have to use it later. Go to change paths. Put it into my folder, Archimedes folder. I'm going to call it HD4, hard drive 4. Okay, I'm going to make another one. Put OK here. 
configure another hard drive, new one. It's going to put 100. It's going to go to 64 because that's max. Um, I'm going to call this HD5 like that and save it. Okay. Okay. Now let's go start this. Boot it up. Make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. 1.5, okay. If you want the full screen, you just press full screen to get out. It's control and if I click into here, I'm in mouse mode. If I want to get out, it's control and you get out of mouse capture. Let me get started. Go to apps, go to configure, go here, click on that, go to floppy disk. I want to add one more floppy disk. Say okay. X out of here, X out of here, X out of here. Now what I want to do is type in some commands. Press the F12 key. You could also go here, middle mouse click, and go to commands like that. And now on the bottom, as you can see, something blinking. Sure. Right here. Just type in some commands. I will type in co.hard. So co.hard disks with a C number two, which means I want to use two hard drives. If you want to use one hard drive, it's one. But I want to use two. That's it. And then press enter to get out of here. We want to shut down the computer. It's this. What I want to do is I want to do. Start. Let's do a hard reset. Okay, now I can see my hard drive, but I cannot use the hard drives like this. I must format the hard drive before I can use it. So I'm going to press Control and again to put in a disk. You want to go to software, go to hard disk formatter version 2.19 okay go here this is a drive use exclamation h form i want to four is hard drive one five is hard drive two so i want to format the first hard drive it'll be number four It'll be N, sector is 32, that's right. Heads is eight, actually. As you can see right here, that's what I'm basing it on. Eight, cylinder is 1,024. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, default. Um, and then after that, it's A, enter, it's I, enter, N, enter, Y, enter. Just uh, left click with your mouse and that's it. I'm able to access this hard drive. This one here, I can't access it because it's not formatted. So I'll have to use H form again. 
This time, number five to select this for the hard disk two. Would be number four N thirty two eight because it's the same type of hard drive, sixty four megabytes. Cylinders one thousand twenty four. Enter, enter, enter. A I enter N enter Y enter. Enter. Right click with your mouse. Now I should be able to access this. So I'm able to use two hard drives. What I want to do now is I want to load some games. Yeah. Load a Check that. Go back to games. Let's play Starfighter. On the hard drive, if you want to create uh, directories, it's middle mouse click. Go here. Right mouse click. I just created a games folder. You could put games in here if you want, like this. It's going to create another folder. Copy these files in there. You can play your games off of your floppy disks, or you can do what I'm doing. Just put it onto a hard disk if you wish. It's up to you. Loading from a hard drive is much faster than loading it from a floppy disk. Escape, Let's see, configure the controls. You could use mouse or keyboard, whatever you want. Let's see. Loud is good. Let me go out of here. Change the sound. 
output to 14. A little bit louder. Very cool game. I mean, it's very nice. That's enough. Let me get out of here. Um, Zero is disk one, by the way. So the way it goes is like this. Zero is floppy disk one. One is floppy disk two. Two is floppy disk three. Three is floppy disk four. Five is hard drive one. And six is hard drive two. That's how the numbering system goes. Create a new directory. It's middle mouse click here. Uh, move the mouse to the left, right, like Sim City. I like the floppy this sound. It's a very retro in a way. Okay, good. See, the hard drive loads so much faster. Using the floppies. One of the advantages of it. Here it is. So.
Okay, that's enough. So let me get out of here. Put the game just like that. I think that's pretty much it for this video. But I'm going to show you some other stuff. Um, there's a lot of other, other stuff, programs on this operating system, like a modern operating system. Alarm is something called, uh, I think this is something you use as an alarm clock on your computer. Calculator, of course. Paint. You can use the draw stuff, which modern operating systems have as well. Edit. configuration you can change the fonts and everything change your mouse speed I showed you how to add more floppies memory They're pretty much like control panel on a Windows or settings on a Android device or something Printer? I don't have a printer. If you did have a printer, then I guess you would go here and set it up. You can also go here. This is kind of like a task manager or something. It shows you how what kind of how much free memory you have on your computer. Two thousand five hundred sixty k bytes free. This is how much is being used, probably. The programs that are here are being used in this memory slot right here. This memory address. It's pretty much like a modern operating system before they were, before GUIs were very popular. It's graphical user interface uh, operating system started to become more mainstream after the release of uh, Microsoft Windows 3.0, but you did have them on um, operate, uh, Amiga OS earlier, on the BBC, um, not BBC, on the Edcore and Archimedes as well, before um, with Microsoft Windows 3.0, and you also had it in Apple Macintosh, back starting from 1985. 1986 or whatever and even before that you had a graphical user interface operating system Xerox uh, Alto computer which was released in the mid 1970s I guess uh, Apple kind of like copied that and put that into their Macintosh uh, design and other people copied that and that's how it started so let me get out of here just shut shut down Draw end.
that pretty much concludes this video. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And if you know a lot more about the Acorn Archimedes, you could leave it in the comment section below. I'm interested in knowing more about it. Uh, I never used the uh, Acorn Archimedes because I didn't live in the United Kingdom. Yes, people who were raised in the UK during the 1980s and 1990s would know about it. If you know about it, please leave it, leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.